so a guy was aware. That dirtbag. Yes, he backstabbed you. Want to use him and what the who the heck? Someone insanely imprisoned. Holy heck. Anyhow, they kind of recapped for me. Um, and I also got a shave. First time seeing me like this in two months. Anyhow. Anyhow, anyhow. So yeah, someone had watched the fight. And then they had to figure it out based upon Guy knowing the the void. And they found him, then made an alliance instead of killing him off, which was Shu's choice, not uh, Inori's. Inori wanted to just get rid of him. Um, and so at the end of the last episode, as it recapped, the guy, we made a alliance with who saw uh, Shu at the battle between Funeral Parlor and GHQ he he backstabbed him he turned him over so I love the soundtrack oh man this has got to be one of the top soundtracks and singing in anime and I'm not just saying the one bit I'm saying as a whole the whole soundtrack I love the soundtrack maybe I haven't seen all of it phase four flux he grabbed the one chick it was an accident he was just a little too forward. They got evidence on him. Jeez, them just analyzing him. That would be tense as heck. They're going to try and get Shu back. No way 
is he getting good rations, meals? The prison industry's trash. Look at the architecture. Oh, it's not just him. They're protecting prisoner. So what does he want with him? The money that went into that place. So it's like a serious sickness. So they are somewhat good. Hmm. They're giving us a moral dilemma. Yeah, that was messed up stuff. Yeah, they're slaughtered. Okay. No, heck no. Heck no. Ah, uh, he's making the threat to force his hand. So are they good or not? Moral dilemma, just like Code Geass. Probably not. Shit. 
she's reflecting on it. And then, my gosh, if you can find a girl who sings like that, then you got one good pillar. She might have a thing for him. He's a lawyer. I recalled it as we got to it. This guy's a real leader. No, you're really in the dark. That actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> Heart jumped slightly. Oh gosh. That guy's going nuts. This guy's a leader. Literally, his name is Guy. The visuals are awesome. Defensive end leaves. Oh, the moral dilemmas. He's got to work with them. Okabe's voice, voice is always a good sign. Good gosh. This... Is a psycho. Well, huh? 
Wow. He, bet he betrayed Shu for his little brother who's sick. So, probably to get him the help he needs. This, this dude is just like. Kido, Kido, Kido. He is getting the void. Don't let him drown. Because they go unconscious. I love the visuals when they do that. Drawn out the void. Did it do? Anti gravity. Gravity manipulator. So, why did he want to utilize it? Inari don't like her risking herself. What an entrance, my gosh. What is she thinking? She's in a massive dose of it. Yes, but why? Oh. Okay. Killed his ally. He's better with the sword now. He had practiced before. But they're seeing what he's made of. How it all works. So, I mean, they're, I don't know, they're probably, I don't know, are they familiar with it or not? Or his, his the first kind of this that was unleashed, the public. They won. Offering it again. He's the leader if he joins. All right. New recruit into funeral parlor.
And they got the psycho. Oh, no, 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 no. No. He's contemplating it. No. Don't you dare. I like him carrying her, though. And that's where we end off. Shu joins funeral parlor. Took him an episode to realize that he should. But he has the option of backstabbing guy. And we realize the thing about the guy who backstabbed him shoe he's he turned him in probably so that his brother his little brother would get the care he needed with the uh, the virus the sickness hmm they led an attack to get that one guy and they successfully did such And the one evil dude, let's say, just observant. He took out his own dude to observe. An ally just to observe what was going on. Hmm. What could possibly happen next? I don't know. I'm remembering it as we arrive to it. So, yeah, this was live commentary of episode four. And no teaser, so... So yeah, um, next time we'll also be live commentary, but around two thirds through or so, we should arrive at live reaction. Now, just as reinforcement, because uh, I'm so worried that some of this stuff is gonna go over my head in any given episode because that's what kind of happened the first time around I couldn't grasp the fullness of the world they were trying to create um, you know I'm going to, I'm going to probably consult the wiki um, I got the one guy's name down uh, where is it Daryl Daryl that was the absolute uh, dirtbag egomaniac blondie, I call him, uh, from episode two. That is just anger inducing. But anyhow, um, pretty decent episode. Visuals and architecture is just sweet. Absolutely sweet. Um, the only thing was the stuff with Shu there and Inori at the end I, you know I, I don't like to nitpick but if there was something to nitpick at you know it probably would have been a little bit of realism there it, it, it is what it is but you know um, how he just jumped and jumped and jumped and jumped and dodged and jumped and jumped and jumped and dodged and made his way up to her descending and him ascending and all that jazz So, it is what it is. I'm not. I'm not into nitpicking. I'm just into enjoying it. It's just sometimes I can spot out the the little bit of realism having to be sacrificed, and I I don't like those moments where I have to sacrifice some realism. I don't like that. But nonetheless, it is what it is. It's, you know, uh, no bit of media is going to be perfect, but. Um, so, and anyone can nitpick at any anime, so it's it's no big deal. So, anyhow, let me know what you thought of this episode, and um, do keep in mind, I got all sorts of tickles down below in the comments, um, including a playlist and, shameless plug, a donate. Viewer supported, viewer supported. So, anyhow, thank you so much for the support, and as always, I will see you up ahead for episode 5 of 
guilty crown. Take her cool.